Hello and welcome to another demo slash condition report and this evening I've got two tape players, or tape cassette players. I've got the Matshima All Weather Stereo Cassette Player and I have the uh, SciShow, I think it's pronounced uh, PS21EQ and that's the uh, cassette player and uh, radio as well. So first of all we will have a look at the Matshima so this is this one really caught my eye. It reminded me a little bit of the the Walkman, like the sports ones they had. I know they had a couple of yellow ones, but yeah, by by Matshima, you've got this kind of enclosed uh, hard case around the, the outside with the rubber sections covering the uh, the controls. Uh, volume on the back here, a um, a DC input there, headphone jack, and. To access everything, you essentially pop the side open, open it up, and you've just got this very simple uh, uh, mechanism here uh, with the batteries being stored inside there. Uh, there was some corrosion there, which I've cleaned up, uh, and I've also stripped, I've stripped it all apart and, uh, and basically got things working as well as I could. As you'll find in a second, I've got it all playing, but it plays slowly, and I don't think it's because of the belt. There's something, the belt turns something behind this, and it doesn't want to turn that much. It's like a little stiff, so I think someone basically needs to strip this down, so basically take that uh, C-clip off, get in there, grease it up, allow it to move more freely, and then I think it'll be absolutely fine, but it's a little bit beyond me, so I'm, I'm just kind of selling it as it is, which is a great uh, kind of decorative item, or probably someone just needs to do a little bit more than I've done to just get it working. But um, as it's a condition report, you can see some very light scratching on the front here, a little bit on the body, but that's all pretty good. Uh, the uh, cover for the DC port, you can see how it, it goes in, but it but it's separated away from that focus, separated away from that rubber bit there that would have been attached in the past. And I would imagine there was probably one on here as well, which has been lost. Uh, other than that, that's, that's pretty good. So I'll show you this one now. Uh, I'm just going to use a pair of. Um, uh, passive speakers uh, not tested on the DC input only been tested on batteries uh, and when I play back I'm just going to kind of turn the volume up and down so I don't get a copyright strike I'm going to pop in a, a copy of uh, uh, the best of new new order so um, with these you basically go down onto that bottom uh, piece of metal there and then it will hold it in place like that close it up and away you go. So that's now playing with the volume being here. So as soon as, so that's just waiting because it's right at the start of the, the cassette. So in fact, let's fast forward. So oh, you heard it kicking in. So fast forward that a little bit. You can see it moving. And in fact, if we open it up, yeah, so you can see everything moving there. And you can see it fast forwarding. And so. so there's your volume control. But as you can hear, it's kind of slowing down, but I don't think that's because of the belts and because it, I think it's because it's struggling to turn that disc that the belt's attached to. But anyway, that's shown you it. Um, Stop, fast forward and play. It shows you the sound coming out through the headphone jack and it's showing you the condition as well. So moving on to number two. This is the SciShow. Very similar to the Walkman WM-33 because it's got this uh, graphics equaliser, bass, middle and treble. Uh, but this one, in addition to that, also has a radio built in as well. So there's some, as you can see with most of these plastics from the day, there's some a couple of areas of hazing there from scratches and then some light scratches around the body, some some wear along along that section. Um, you know, just general wear and tear on the on these on these kind of hard plastics. Um, that's the model, as I already mentioned, PS21. Batteries go inside there. 
Uh, no, no, I think that was probably a belt clip. I don't have one of those. And control wise, you can see you've got the volume, medium wave, FM, uh, and any tuning, any headphones. And that's about it. Stop, forward, play, tape, or radio on the top. So open it up, pop the tape inside. So what side are we on? Side A. So again, it's very, it's a very similar mechanism. You're going to push down against that, that metal thing and then in, in place, close it up. And if I put the headphones in and play, and my volume's here, so I don't want to get a strike, you see, so I'll just kind of cut it in and out. But if I change these, you'll hear everything, uh, you know, the, the music change, so. So that's your equaliser settings. Fast forward, again, you can see everything moving. And with these kind of ones, you can see it moving at the same time. Stop on there, turn it on the top to radio. Turn that down. And you can see here on the side, it's a medium wave at the minute. Picking things up on medium wave and put it into, you've got FM and FM stereo, I think, by the look of that there. Uh, again, picking things up there and stereo. So that shows that when you've got it in, tuned in and, and, and to stereo qu quality. And that's enough of that. So uh, that, yeah, that's that one there as well. So um, I don't think there's power in on that one, but that's untested. So you've kind of seen both of those. Uh, I really like them both. I mean, this one stands out really nicely, uh, that, but it's got that issue that I think someone just needs to take it over the finish line. If not, it, you know, it still looks like quite a nice collector's item. And you've got the SciShow uh, all kind of working with the with the equaliser and the radio. Uh, you've seen the wear and, on each of them. Uh, anything missing on that is probably the belt. Uh, and then you, you've got the, the cover missing on there. Um, but yeah, uh, if you've got any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my very best to help you. All the very best. Take care and see ya.